What's going on people? It's your boy EB Oh Blackman. Um yeah, as you can tell, I've just woken up. You can probably hear it in my voice. That's why I sound like a player player, baby baby. <laughs> yeah, I'm correct now, I'm joking. But um yeah, so I wanna quickly do a, a video on um I wanna do a video real quick on Mustard Seed Faith. I wanna do a quick video on Mustard Seed Faith because um, I posted a status yesterday and a lot of people was coming in and talking about Mustard Seed Faith, this, that and the other. And I was like, I remember not too long ago when Jesus revealed to me what Mustard Seed Faith was because I've always believed that Mustard Seed Faith is being taught wrong in churches. I believe that most of us, what we believe about the concept, sorry, I believe that what most of us understand and what most of us believe mustard seed faith to be, I think it's unbiblical. Um, and so, I'm going to just quickly break something down. In fact, let me just carry my camera like this. I want to quickly break something down in terms of mustard seed faith. Now, I wrote a tweet. I, I, I wrote a tweet last night. If you don't follow me on Twitter, you already know what to do. Go and follow your boy. Um, let me put. Let me find my, somewhere to put my Bible. Okay, cool. So, on Twitter. I must have written something like, now everything I say I'll be able to back it through scripture. There's not one thing that I'll say that I won't be able to back it through scripture. Um, James chapter 1 verse 9, <clears throat> James chapter 1 verse, let me get that real quick. James chapter, here we go. James chapter 1 verse, verses 5 to 7, it says this, oh. Verses 5 to 7, it says this, But if any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. Verse 6, But let him ask in faith with, um, um, with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wave of the sea, driven and tossed by the wind. Verse 7, For let that man, um, for let that man not suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. He's a double-minded man in all his ways. The double-minded man is stable in all his ways. Alright, so, from that scripture, you can see this, that... If you lack something, so in this particular part of the Bible, James uses wisdom. He says, if you lack wisdom, ask of God who gives to all men liberally and he will give it to you. But when that person asks, right, if you're going to ask for wisdom and you can put whatever you need in there, if you're going to ask for, boy, whatever you want to ask for, you can change wisdom to whatever you want to ask for, yeah? Comfort, joy, peace, whatever. Let him ask from God. And God is the type of God that gives to all men liberally. But when you ask, ask in faith, not doubting anything. Listen, listen to what verse 6 says. But let him ask in faith with no doubting. For he who doubts is like a wind driven by and um, driven and tossed by um is like the is like a wave of the sea driven and tossed by the wind verse 7 do not expect to ask or to receive anything if there's doubting in your heart <clears throat> so i said on twitter i said um if you're in 99 percent faith and there's one percent of doubt in your heart oh the lighting's mad okay if you're on if you're in one percent faith um if you're in 99 percent faith and there's one percent doubting in your heart i said still don't believe still don't expect to ask to receive anything from God. Because when there's doubt in your heart, right? The Bible says, do not doubt anything. If you don't have 100% faith in God, God's not required to do anything from you, for you. And this is scriptural. This is not like I'm making it up. This is not like I'm, you know, for let not that man suppose that he will receive anything from the Lord. Why? Because there's doubt in his heart. So it doesn't matter if you're 50% faith, and 50% doubt. It doesn't matter if you're 90% faith and 10% doubt. If there's doubt in your heart, don't expect God to do anything for you because you're un you're on un you're double-minded. You're unstable. Why? Because part of your heart still doesn't believe God. Part of your heart still doesn't trust God. So we can see that that statement is biblical. The Bible says if there's any doubt in your heart, it doesn't matter how big it is, it doesn't matter how small it is. If there's any doubt in your heart, don't expect to believe to, to receive from God. All right. Now someone. Came, and this is not me bashing anyone. I'm just like, you know, I'm just trying to give us understanding. Now, for a long time, I had let, I had read the story about the, uh, the, 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 the mustard seed faith. And I, I understood what I had been taught and what the church was teaching. But 
it still didn't sit right with me, right? So one day I was praying and maybe in like the second hour, God began to speak to me about my mustard seed faith. And he began to break it down properly and give me uh, a biblical understanding of what Jesus was actually trying to say when he began to speak about or he began to um, talk about the concept of mustard seed faith. All right, cool. So I know some of you are gonna be thinking, all right, why did the setting change? Well, when I was in the middle of doing the video, one of my housemates decided to come back home early from work. So we outside now, but look at the quality. Look at the garden. Anyway, look at the clear skin. Anyway, um, all right, cool. So many people think when it comes to mustard seed faith, yeah, many people think that Jesus is saying that if you have just a small bit of faith in God, then you would have been able to do this thing my whole thing is nowhere in scripture does anyone encourage to have small faith that's unbiblical like for example we just looked in the book of james and it said that if you're going to have faith you need to trust in god completely you need to trust in god fully so why would jesus now say come on guys just have all you need is just a little bit of faith in god all you need is just a small piece of faith in god so if that's what we're saying jesus like that that's unbiblical jesus will never jesus always encourages us to have full faith in god he never encourages us just to have small faith matthew chapter 17 and verse 20 um, they're talking about they weren't able to cast out this demon they weren't able to cast out this spirit right so Jesus says to them um, Jesus says to them the di disciples asked him why couldn't we do it then the disciples said to him um, came to Jesus privately and said why couldn't we cast it out and Jesus said to them because hold on uh, because of your unbelief for assuredly i say to you if you have faith as a mustard seed you will say to this mountain move from here and it will be moved and nothing will be impossible for you right so he says if you have faith like a mustard seed now many people and many translations have changed it to faith as small as a mustard seed because what people do is they try when they translate to try and make it make sense in the English language. You understand what I'm saying? So I'm thinking, all right, cool. Jesus must have been talking about the size of a mustard seed here because if you just have small faith in God, da, 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 because the mustard seed, typically, typically speaking in Bible, the mustard seed is always um, spoken about in terms of its size. Here, I don't believe Jesus was talking about and the amount of faith you have accumulation i was thinking i believe jesus was talking about how your faith is administrated so he wasn't talking about accumulation he was talking about administration when you look at the mustard seed the mustard seed is small the mustard seed is simple but yet it great it carries great power it, it carries great potential it becomes one of the biggest i don't know if you can hear me because the train's going through in the background but we'll we'll, we'll make it through when you look at the mustard seed and when you look at the characteristics of the mustard seed, the mustard seed is the smallest seed. So it's simple, it's easy, there's nothing complicated. You just put the seed into the situation and when it grows, and when there's a harvest or when it begins to manifest, there's great things come, great things come forth. So mustard seed, he wasn't, mustard seed is small, simple. Faith is small and simple. Faith isn't complicated. Now these are the character these are the characteristics of the mustard seed. If you look at every miracle that Jesus did, Jesus never that Jesus was never like, oh, this is too hard for God. That like every miracle you look at Jesus that he done, it was very simple. How he did it, how he solved it was very simple. Alright, cool. Um we got multitude to feed. Let me see your let me see what we got. We got two fish and five blows. Alright, cool. Give thanks to God. Break it among the people. Now two fish and five loaves is able to feed 5,000. Why? Because of faith. But there was nothing complicated about that. How he casted out the spirit of legion. All right, go. See, this is all characteristics of the mustard seed. Small, simple, easy. But when you do what you do, it carries great potential. It carries great power inside of us. So it's not supposed to be complicated. It's not supposed to be crazy. You just send it. Like, like faith is like a mustard seed. You just plant it into the situation and it carries great potential. You'll see great harvest. You'll see great, you'll see something come back. That's, you know, that's amazing. That's big. 
So Jesus was never saying, oh guys, come on, have small faith in God. If you just had a little bit of faith in God. No, he's not saying that. He's saying, look, come, carry your faith or believe in God. Be simple like a mustard seed. Faith is like a mustard seed. It's not complicated. You have your desire. You know what you want from God. You send it into a situation. It's real simple. It's not complicated and it brings back great results. When we're trusting in God and when we're believing in God to do great things, we don't need to overcomplicate things. Why? Because it's not us doing it. It's God inside of us. It's God doing it in us and through us. The only time you need to complicate stuff is when you feel like you have to figure it out for yourself. The only time you have to complicate stuff is when you feel like it's in your own strength and in your own power that you're trying to do stuff. And so mustard seed faith is all about simplicity. Mustard seed faith is all about easiness. Mustard seed faith is all about sending a word into your situation. Just like you'll send a mustard seed into the ground. Sending a word into your situation, decreeing and declaring your belief. Um, faith is received by the word of God. Faith is released by your words. And that's what it is. Release seeds of faith. Release seeds of declaration. Release, you know, small things like that. And then you'll see a great harvest. So Jesus wasn't saying, just have a little bit of faith in God. He was like, no, 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 no. Be simple in administration. Don't overcomplicate things. Just be easy. Have faith in God. Trust in Him. And speak what you want to see. And it will come to pass.